let the fun begin. Two inches lower at the front. Hopefully it works out well. So I'm going to spray a little bit on there, make that easy to get off. And the main one that I want to spray it on is the bottom because it's a big nut. And I reckon it's going to be pretty tight. So it's just that one in there. If anyone wants to buy some standard height springs, Lovells, they're going to be up for sale soon. I'll check them on Marketplace. I'm going to keep these shocks for now. Um, once I see how compressed they get, then I'll and do the measurement. I'll uh, order some QA1 adjustables for the front. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to jack it up so that the tension's off the spring slightly, enough to undo that bolt, which is a half inch. Then. I'll uh, lower it back down again off the jack and then with my inch and a 1 8 ring spanner that I was going to bought, I'll undo that bottom nut and I've already sprayed it with some, um, oh, it's not CRC, it's um, Inox, same thing, WD-40, um, just to loosen that nut a bit and then I should be able to pull that spring out and then put the lowered spring in. Ba boom which looks the same height but these springs are compressed so hopefully that makes the difference um, I'll stand them up so you can see oh, they're a little bit lower maybe what do you think you don't want to know about it do you oh, fair enough okay so I'll just pop this here. I don't want to 
want to jack it up too much, just enough just to loosen it off, because otherwise obviously it's just it's going to be a um a compressed spring. So it's just enough just to get this loose. It's not going to move, so I'll continue to undo it. I haven't jacked it up that much, so it's not that compressed. And plus, if it did spring out, it wouldn't come too far anyway, because the bottom holds it in place. So I'll take this rod off. Yeah, yeah, that's what I wanted to happen for sure. should be loose but it's not So apparently you don't need these says the suspension shop so I'm gonna leave them out because they're a mess the other one's actually worse bye bye I reckon that spring was too big or something Fits a lot nicer. This thing's gonna be cool once it's loaded. I'm gonna stick this the other way around. Tape it side down. Maybe. <laughs> Never seems to want to screw on that way. Side down. That's okay. So we're going to put the nut with the tapered part facing up because it doesn't want to screw on the other way that's okay and my one and one eighth spanner I actually think it's going to sit in there nicer without that anyway it's Mm -hmm. 
So I'm just going to put this bracket and bolt back on now. And that's it. How easy was that? Wheel goes back on and hopefully it should be one inch lower. Belltech, wish me luck. Because if it's not one inch lower, it says that they're supposed to be two inch lowered springs. So hopefully, see how we go. Right, time to jack her up, take the stands out, drop it down, take it for a drive, let the wheels settle, and then boom! Jack stands are out. Time to lower it, take it for a drive, let it settle and see how low it looks. 